excited emotions are running high at the Amarillo Civic Center. That's where those who are displaced from flooding are staying and where we find News Channel 10 Sydney Batsloff. Sydney, you spoke to a few of those living at the Civic Center. Greg, Lindsay, I have. They've been through a lot from being forced out of their homes, leaving everything behind, to now coming to the Amarillo Civic Center, making it home. Some tell me they don't know if they're going to have a place to return home to, so it's become a frustrating waiting game. Never know when it's going to happen. Never know. This is going to impact me forever because I'm constantly going to be fearful. Fearful that something else like a disaster could happen again. It, it was it was scary leaving everything behind that you worked so hard for as a single mama doing this on your own. It took me a while to get all this and now it's all gone. Osborne says the hardest part is watching her two children go through this. It's detrimental. It's hard to see these kids men. Everything they had, their comfort, their security has been literally pulled the rug out from under them. Right now, we just want to be able to go do things. And a lot of us are hurt physically, mentally, emotionally. As for the future, I have no idea. And that's, that's hard, the uncertainty of knowing what's going to happen next and how it's going to happen and if it's going to happen. Because right now we're in limbo. We're stuck between a rock and a hard place, literally. And we have no answers. We're trying to stay hopeful, but there's very little hope and very little light at the end of the tunnel for us. Everyone I spoke with did tell me the one thing getting them through this time is the community from each other. I mean, I've been out here all day and they're still out here just talking with each other, leaning on each other, supporting each other. They say it's going to be a long road, but they'll get through it. Greg, Lindsay, back to you.